This is going to really brighten up this little area here. There he is. Thank you everyone for your help. Good morning guys, welcome back to my allotment diary. So today is actually my birthday. So I dragged the family down to the garden centre, we just got a few bits um, and we're going to take it all to the allotment plot. And I really wanted to do some planting today so we've got lots of planting to do. So let's get on with it. We've made it to the allotment plot, haven't we Tom? So I've got a few jobs that I want to do today because it was my birthday, like I said, we went to the garden centre, picked up a few flowers um, for my new little wildlife area. I thought it'd be nice to have some flowers here, like straight away, just to make it quite nice. So we've got these lovely primrose um, and then we've got some pansies and some violas as well. Um, and I thought it'd be nice just to add a little bit of colour to this little wildlife area just while we get going. That is actually the bird bath. That's quite deep for him though. That's um, Einstein's new bird bath. And then look, this has stayed up. I can't believe it stayed up. Amazing. So that's our first job, Tom, is gonna to be to um, plant all these lovely flowers around the wildlife area, okay? Should we get going? Little Einstein's turned up. He's wondering what we're up to. Wondering what we're up to. Are you gonna feed him today, Tom? Can you um, grab a handful? I'll give it to him. That's it. And then back off a little bit and we'll watch him. See if he comes down and has a little look. Ready? Come on in. Einstein number two. Einstein number three. There he is. Look, there's another one. <laughs> there's two of them. There's two of them, look. That's so funny. What kind of spider is that? I've never seen a spider like that before. Do you want to take a pose? Yeah. This is going to really brighten up this little area here and get it really ready for wildlife. That's, yeah, it's perfect, Tom. Don't worry about all that stuff. That's just dead stuff. If you pop them in the hole, move on to the next one and I'll, I'll fill it in. Right, so, do you remember that my allotment friend gave me these lovely little planters that she found? So we've got this one here. I was going to take it home, but actually I've got the um, little violas now and I think they'll look really nice in a little planter. So, I'm going to whack them in. I'm going to whack them in a planter. Where do you want me to put it then? <sighs> I just over one of the raised beds at the back. I don't tend to do many containers here because if you're around for my strawberry pallet planter, you'll know I always forget to water them and they just die. I don't think it's very like practical at an allotment to have um, planters really. But I'll try and look after this one. <laughs> Right, so pansies, I'm sort of thinking, I was thinking around here, but I'm not sure now. Should we just whack them all in around here? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna whack them all in around, around the primroses. Yeah, let's just keep it simple and just make this little flower place because I haven't got anything else substantial to plant here yet. So we'll just have to whack this stuff in. there I like that colorful that's how the wildlife area is looking right now what do you think we've got our nice little violas got all of our primrose got all of our pansies and pierre de resistance the bird table that's not fallen down dave is busy clearing away those horrid ornamental grasses for me so happy look at that big pile of them oh my goodness amazing i forgot that i brought some little lavender as well 
um, that I thought might go quite well around the tree stump over there. So once all of these lovely flower bulbs have finished, because I've got tulips and crocus in here, I need something to take over. So I got these little lavender plants and they're supposed to be quite nice. So I thought I'd whack these in. I actually don't know where I put the bulbs though. That's the problem. So we're gonna have to guess. Okay, I don't actually think that's gonna survive there because the ground is quite boggy, but we're just gonna whack the other one in and hope for the best. I think the other one should go over here somewhere. what's it called a gooseberry bush grows really really spiky and it's going to be a nightmare to pick gooseberries and also because it's right in front of my pumpkin archway i might cut myself and hurt myself as i walk past it so i did have visions of it being here and being quite nice here but you said no it's going to hurt so i'm going to replace it with a blueberry bush here and i've got another blueberry bush on the other side to keep it quite symmetrical the only thing is i have to think about where to put the gooseberry bush now somewhere out the way somewhere i'm not going to hurt myself on it i actually think this bed here this little raised bed here which is sort of not doing anything if i sort of plant it over to the side over to the corner i think it might be all right there just just for this year and i could always move it again but i think for now we're going to just move it over to there so that's the next job to do no sooner than it went in it's coming straight back out again <laughs> Bindweed, it's with you forever, forever more. It's your new best friend if you've got bindweed, get used to it. Where's the plant gone? Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay. Right, Tom, this one needs watering now. Yeah. So, I know blueberry plants like ericaceous soil, which is slightly acidic, but I don't have any. So, I'm going to do just put some multi-purpose compost around it and then I'm going to give it an ericaceous like an acidic feed I'm going to try and find some kind of plant feed that will make it ericaceous for it at the moment this soil in here look at that it's like clay it's just not great it's just not great but I do think that blueberry plants don't mind it to be like quite hard when they're growing like not hard when they're growing but like to have tough conditions you know it doesn't have to be perfect for them so i think it'll be all right I'll put a load of this in dip that in a little bit that should help with the the consistency of the soil and also like this the i don't know general health of it Oh god, I just literally kicked him. Sorry, mate. Mm -hmm. He thinks I don't like him now, Tom, because I just kicked him. That's it, that D. I think it'll look quite nice and like symmetrical. So now we've got a blueberry plant either side of the pumpkin archway in a symmetrical way. We've got one there, we've got one there. I think that's going to look really good. And our, what's it called, gooseberry, I keep trying to say elderflower but it's a gooseberry, is there in that little bed on his own where he can't cause any trouble. Talking of trouble, <laughs> what are you up to? Okay, so these are some of the jobs I wanted to get done. There is actually one more. How do you tree? Hey, right, I've got one more job for you. You ready? One more, actually, this is probably the most exciting job of the day because what we're going to do is we're going to actually sew something. So, I know I kept going on about how, like, at my plot I have to sew 
broad beans before I plant them out because they get eaten but that was on my old allotment and I think my new allotment might be different so I've got some broad beans and we're just gonna we're just gonna sow them direct and see what happens and I'm gonna keep some and sow them at home as well but I think why not let's just sow them let's just do it yeah broad beans are gonna go in this bed here I think this would be the best bed for them I think I don't know that I just think I've always grown broad beans in rows and on the back of this I was reading it recently and it says um, space in a zigzag pattern so you're sort of supposed to grow them in like a zigzag you know that little pointy thing you had yeah. that you were hitting the rock with we need that that'd be really good for planting these with we need a dibber to uh, plant these in a zigzag pattern so I'm going to get Tom to, to do the holes in like a zigzag and I'm going to pop a bean in we'll give it a go I'm, I'm assuming it's zigzag because it's how you support them and stuff but I've never done it in a zigzag before but let's do it let's give it a go no 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 further way further apart than that what each one is further oh no <laughs> it's oh like mother like son eh breaking everything <laughs> It's not your fault, it's very old, don't worry. Maybe just hold it, don't hold it by the handle, that's it. That's it, we're gonna make some uh, zigzag patterns, okay? And then I think one there. It's gonna be quite big, you see, because they're big plants. And then one there. Oh, I get it. And then one, yeah, so you carry on from there, go. I'm gonna put a broad bean in each of these, okay? You keep going from there. This will be our first row. So that's our first row. And we'll put a broad bean in each one. And we'll just see what happens. I don't actually know which way to plant these, so I'm just sort of dropping them from a height. As if a bird has just dropped it out of its mouth. Because <laughs> I think it'll still grow. But we're not going to fill them up yet because we'll forget where we've put them. <laughs> actually really quite hard to do zigzag rows but actually that is zigzag rows yeah so if you grab a broad bin put it into each of the holes that doesn't have one okay okay just like a little bag of sweets <laughs> right there we go <laughs> Actually lost my other watering can you know the one that had the like the hose thing at the end the, the one that sprays it like rain I actually lost it does that surprise you no so I have to get another one of those I actually forgot I'd lost it there we go they'll find the water I'm sure they'll find the water <laughs> right go get one more one more load just to make sure that we've covered okay, them all just get a and it up right that's the broad beans in absolutely fantastic time we've got blueberry plants we've moved the gooseberry We've got a Tom sitting there, we've fed Einstein, and we've got this beautiful little area now. But I think the most exciting thing is, of all the jobs we did today, look what Dave's done for me. Look at that absolute mega pile of ornamental grass, and look here, it's all been dug out, I'm so happy. I think what I'm gonna do is dig all of this over. Oh, there's Einstein. It's going for the, uh, the worms there, are you? Yeah, look. <laughs> I love how he just responds to me, it's so crazy. crazy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna dig this whole area out and have um, basically extend the wildlife area. You can see here now, got all that beautiful planting. It will hopefully continue to over here um, under the trees and be a lot more manageable this year, which is just great. But I can't get over this pile of ornamental grass, it's amazing.
very, very happy today. Thank you everyone for your help. <laughs> appreciate it, appreciate it. So that's all the jobs that we did today. Hope you enjoyed my little mini allotment vlog today because it is my birthday. So I was just trying to enjoy it more than vlogging really. But um, yeah, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.